looking at how you can raise your own game by being around people who are smarter, faster, better, whatever than you. Hey leaders, I hope you're making it an amazing week this week. I wanted to reach out to you real fast and talk to you about this idea of upping your game. And the only way you can up your game is to be around people who are better, faster, smarter, stronger than you are. One of the things that I love to do that's important to me in my business is that I go to a lot of conferences and a lot of seminars in order to be around people who are way smarter than me. So a few weeks ago, I went to an event called the Genius Network. And I mean, there I, I mentioned in a previous video, they're billionaires in this room, right? They're multi, multi-millionaires, super great at, well, super great. Uh, they're awesome at their business and great uh, business owners, not operators. And I, I am around them to absorb, to learn, to grow. And I want you to really look at the areas of your life where you need to improve, whether it be as a business leader, as, a, as a, maybe a, an at-home leader, uh, maybe in your community as a leader. Where do you need to improve? And look at the areas that you um, are maybe not as strong as you'd like to be. And find people who are better than you. Find people who are faster, stronger, smarter than you so that you can raise your game. As a matter of fact, when you're hiring people, I hope you are willing to look at people, at least in the management section of your business, the management area of your business, that you are looking to recruit and hire people who are better, faster, stronger than you, are more, maybe more organized, who understand money more, who understand marketing better. Like, I hope that's what you're doing. I know a lot of times in smaller practice and in, in the industry of smaller practices, we can have like our spouse be doing our marketing or our bookkeeping. That's not their job. They're not trained. They're not professionals. And if you're a professional, then you need to hire professional people. And even inside of your practice, I hope you're looking for people. And I absolutely 100% I, I believe that if you're going to have some sort of manager, you need to find somebody who is smarter, faster, better than you are. Find somebody who will make you raise the, your own game. And not that you're ever going to beat them or surpass them because you want them to be better. You want to surround yourself. And as, as so many of my mentors say, you know, be the dumbest person in the room. You don't want to be the smartest person in the room. That's not where you want to be. So I want you to think about that for just a little bit. This is going to be a quicker message today, but it's something that's been resonating, that's been resonating with me quite a bit the last couple of uh, weeks. And something that I think all of you can benefit from is looking at how you can raise your own game by being around people who are smarter, faster, better, whatever than you. That's not to say it's a scarcity mentality, right? And I, the, I should say this because I have had people who are like, I know, man, I look at that other competitor of mine and I just look at, man, how are they doing that? Man, I wish I could do that. No, 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 no. This isn't about comparison. This isn't about you sitting there and getting down on yourself because that's all about scarcity, right? That's all about because they have it, I can't. What I want you to do is I want you to look at those people who are successful. Look at those people who have dialed it in faster than you have. Look at those people who are uh, getting to where they want to go faster than maybe you are and say, okay, well, if they've done it, so can I. Like they're nothing special. I promise you there is nobody in your industry that's an outlier. That's like, wow, they're just special. They were, you know, given a certain special fairy dust when they were born. So therefore they can do more special things than I can. That's not true. I want you to be willing to look at the areas of your life where you are, uh, where you're challenged and see the people around you that can make you raise your game, who can teach you more. Be humble enough to ask for the help. Now, there's a uh, mentor of mine a few years ago who taught me this, and I use it all the time, and I, I think it's so true, is that the definition of humility is understanding that every single person that you stand in front of, they are a genius at something that you are not, and you are a genius at something they are not. And when I first heard that, I thought, well, that's that's really interesting. That's a really great way to think about it. And, you know, first first time you hear it, you think, oh, that's very, very good. That's a, a nice uh, definition of hum uh, humility. And as I left that conference, actually, I was driving home and I stopped by at a Taco Bell uh, back in the day. This is probably about 10 years ago. And I stopped by and I thought to myself, well, is that true? Like this dude in front of me, he's working at an $8 an hour job. Is it really, he's a genius in something that I'm not. And then it hit me and I was like, you know what? 
If I was asked to go around that corner and take somebody's order, I would have no clue. If I was asked how to put together my burrito, I'd have no clue. So in that moment, yeah, he is a genius at something I am not. And this could go on to so many different topics, right? But the idea here is that that's the humility side of it. If you recognize it, hey, they're a genius at something I'm not, and I'm a, I'm a genius at something they're not. And then there's the I want to learn more side of it. So how are you going to grow by asking for the help, by recognizing that somebody understands or has dialed in something that you haven't, and ask them for the help? Go to the next level. The only way you're going to do that is if you surround yourself with people, if you actively look for people to work with you inside of your business and outside of your business who are smarter, faster, prettier. Okay, not everybody's prettier than you. Uh, that you actually look for people who are making you strive to go to that next bar, that next level. All right? Good luck this week. Have an awesome week. Talk to you later.